came in late. We're on page 166. And we just started this question. We only have two more to finish in this section, and then we'll do the homework. And then I'll give you guys the quiz. So right now we're checking out all the lateral areas of this composite figure. Um, we're using 2 pi RH only for the cylinder, the lateral area. Radius 2, height 2. Next one would be 2 pi 3 times 2. Is everybody okay with that? And 2 pi, the next one would be 4 times 2. Is that okay for everybody? We have heights. The heights are all 2. And then the radius is just changing, 2, 3, and 4. So you can quickly just bang off these uh, lateral areas. Okay. So the first one is 25.13. The second one is 37.69. And the last one is 50.26. Okay. So there's all the lateral areas. Okay, now we've got to calculate the circular faces, the circles on top and the bottom. Um, so now I'll just use this one to stay organized. I'll use color. You guys are going to do whatever you want. Maybe we'll go like A1 here. Okay, we'll, we'll calculate this circle up top. Everyone, everyone's got that one? A1. We'll call it A1. Nat, are you okay? A1. A1 is just a circle, pi r square. The radius is 2. Calculate this one quickly. I got 12.56. Now, there's always the question uh, every time you do surface area is like if this composite figure is like sitting on a table or something, like it can't just float in the middle of the air, is this bottom circle on the surface? So what do you guys think? Is it on the surface, the bottom circle? Can you see it? Like if, if it was floating in the air, you could see it, right? So let's calculate it. So let's call this one A2. So pi r square, the radius is 4. So quickly ripping that one off. You have a light slip, buddy? Okay, so there's that one. All right, so we've covered all the areas except for what? We've covered all the areas except for these donut shapes. Okay? So the purple and the green. Those are the only ones we haven't covered yet. We got all the sides, we got the bottom, we got the very top. We're just missing those donut shapes. How do you calculate the area of the donut shapes? To do that, you would have to calculate, that's a terrible picture, you'd have to calculate the outer circle and then subtract uh, the inner circle, okay? So for the purple one, the outer radius, so pi r squared would be pi 3 squared, take away the inner circle which would be pi 2 squared. Just typing that into my calculator quickly. 9 pi minus 4 pi is 15.7. So there's the purple part of the composite figure. And now the green. Same idea with the green. Take the big circle and subtract the smaller circle. That's going to give you that donut, sh that donut shape. The big circle has a radius of 4. And the small circle has a radius of 3. In my calculator quickly, 16 pi minus 9 pi, 21.99. And then you have all these values, you just add them all up. And that's all it is. That's a tough one, okay? But 
It's no different than any of the other surface area questions where you just have to look at all the 2D faces, find them all separately, and then add them all up. Okay. Sometimes you have to problem solve with subtraction or addition, like these donut shapes. Okay. Area of the big, take away the area of the small. And like when you're actually working with weird shapes in actual life, typically you don't whip out a calculator and a paper and pencil. You usually just play with it. Okay. So this application to life, not really. Um, just passing tests. This is all this is. Okay. So once we add all these up, good to go. On to the next one. So altogether, I got like 213.59, and the unit is square feet. So whenever you're ready to submit your final answer on a written response, that's when you want to put the unit on, okay? You don't have to put the units on in between. That's just too much writing. Just when you f submit your final answer, put a unit on there, okay? If you came in late, I got all your marks on the back wall there. Uh, if your name is after... I think if, if your name's later in the alphabet, just flip the page up and you'll see yours. Uh, people that wrote the exam late, if you completed the practice exam, you got a bonus mark, which equated to like an extra 4% on the test. So you do the work, you'll get paid off. Okay, so if you did the practice exam, you got an extra like 4% on your test. Um, also, if you don't like, you know how the... Here, I'll bring it up and I'll try to get the names off. See if I can do that. Uh, one second. Let's pause this. All right, so last question of the section, page page 167. Uh, Mustafa, you're going to have to open up your books. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, okay? Get the books open. Be a part of the class. Here we're doing 23 surface area of, looks like snow cone. Do you need stuff, Mustafa? Okay. Yep. All right, so snow cone, what's the two shapes that make up the snow cone? And give me this back at the end of the day. Hemisphere and a cone, good. So we're always talking about the exposed area. So when you calculate the hemisphere, do you want the top or, or the bottom or not the bottom? With base or without base? With or without? Without. Check your yellow sheet. There's two, two formulas for the hemisphere. One of them has the base. One of them does not. Everybody see that? If you don't have a yellow sheet, I can get you another one. See, without base, with base. Okay. So this one would be without the base because it's not exposed. You can't see it. So 2 pi r squared. The r is 18 or 9? Nine, because you do half the diameter every time, okay? These, these uh, what do you call them, standardized tests for surface area and volume, they always just give diameter, and it's like, <laughs> just give me the radius. Drive me nuts. So make sure you're always checking your tests, and if they're giving you diameters, just right away, chop it in half for radius. Okay, so, Matt, are you okay? Not on your phone or anything? Okay, so 2 pi 9 squared. And if you don't know where the pi button is on your calculator or the square button, let me know. I can help you. Just today, put your hand up. Be like, can you help me with my calculator? And then I'll help you. So always using pi button and make sure you know where the square button is. Did you get 508, Noelle? Point nine three eight. Okay, now I'm going to do the cone. Again, same idea with the cone. There's no base. But my formula sheet's not going to have, you know, cone without the base. You got to be smart. You got to think. So write cone surface area. There's a pi r square and a pi r s. The pi r square is the circle up here. So the it must be the pi r s for that, uh, you know, the delicious part of the drumstick. This this part, the waffle cone. Oh my gosh, so delicious. 
You guys get waffle cones? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for that one, you just do pi RS. I'm making some of you hungry, I bet. All right, here's a problem. If you were away yesterday, you're not going to remember this. Uh, so it's a good thing you're here today. Did they give us the S? What does the S stand for? Slant. Did they give that to us? What did they actually give us? The actual height. So what do we got to use? Good, 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 good. Pythagorean. Okay, so let me go inside this waffle cone of deliciousness. And you draw in your right triangle. Do they have that? Yeah. IHOP has free pancakes? Oh, I missed it. There's your right triangle. 12 is the height. The radius is 9. So I'll just draw it over here so it doesn't look so silly. So how do we solve for the slant? Good. So C squared equal A squared plus B squared. And C always is the big side right across the 90. Remember that kind of stuff? All right. So S squared will be 12 squared plus 9 squared. So square both of them and add them up. Some of you probably could do this in your sleep. Done it so many times. Is it 225 becomes 5? Yeah, thank you. 225 becomes 15. So there's the slant that you can put right here. So pi times 9 times 15. And I'm getting like 424.115. So there's the hemisphere. There's the lateral area of the cone. Put these together with addition. And you will get... 933, and that's good enough. The unit is square centimeter. Okay, so make sure you know Pythagorean theorem and the basic surface area formulas for the second section, 3.2. Okay, so how about like 15 minutes for the homework. I think we already did the cake pan. Here's a cone. There's like a s half silo thing. Um, you can do this one, the hexagonal pyramid. Uh, see where it says lateral surface area? That means omit the base. So you don't have to calculate the area of the hexagon, just the triangles. So six six triangles there. Five should be okay, six should be okay, and then we'll be on to 3.3. .3. So how about we do about 30 minutes for homework, okay? I want it quiet in here. I want you working, okay?